Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. I've just eaten a granola yogurt and that is all I have to say. No, it was it was good. It was good. Um, Tainted it, Isaac. Do you know what? It's, it's, it's been some time since we've played as this boy. In fact, it's been like a really long time. So let's go for it. Why not? Uh, but yeah, just had a granola yogurt. It was pretty banging. I went on a, a like 9, 8k run. I tried to do a 10k run. I got a bit tired near the end. So I ended up cutting a few k off. It's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I was a little knackered when I got back. I need to perk myself up a little bit. So I had a granola yogurt. Feeling good. Literally, I, I mean as in like, I put the spoon down and the moment it touched, I started recording. Um, spider egg is probably better. I think spider egg's probably better. I do love the big boy bombs, I've got to say. But this item can actually give you quite a lot of um, spiders over the course of a, of a run. So I, I don't mind that at all. I'll bomb this while we're here. Not exactly what I was looking for, but hey-ho. But yeah, spiders, they're good. They're good fellas. <laughs> I managed to like eat that one all the way off screen. I will definitely open that golden chest if I get the opportunity. As for the question of the day today, mm-mm-mm. What's some new food that you tried recently that you were surprised at how good it was? For me, honestly, it's not super recent. It's like within the last sort of year, year and a half. But a food that I was adamant that I didn't think I'd like, which is that I will, I will completely earn that this is really fucking stupid. But I, I'd, I'd never tried any sort of ramen, like proper ramen. And I just was adamant I wouldn't like it. And like last year, I was like, eh, we, we, I think we went to like um, Wagamama's, which is like a place in the UK. I don't know if that's in America as well, but it's a place in the UK that does like that sort of stuff. And I was like, do you know what? I'll just give it a go because everyone else is getting it. And oh my God, it's so goddamn good. And since then, I've had a lot better than Wagamama's. I've had some, some like proper ramen places and goddamn, yeah, it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. I very, very much like. Be careful. Oh, you've eaten all my spiders. One thing I will say about the spider item is it spawns them, I think it's once every 5.5 seconds, which, like, on its own sounds really good, but it's basically, like, sort of like Mum's wig. I, I don't know if it's more consistent with the Mum's wig. It might be. I don't know. Either way, it's not, it's not terrible. Uh, we didn't get a key. Let's try and do this extra room here to get a key. We should at least give it a go. But yeah, I've, um, I, as a lot of you have known from the, my episodes, I've been dieting a lot recently, exercising a lot more. But over the past, like, three weeks, boy, not done well. <laughs> I let it slide a lot. So I've, uh, this week, I've decided to get back on it. Although saying that... Um, one thing that uh, I have decided to do, so I'm still having my cheat days on the weekend, and this weekend, um, gonna go see the new Into the Spider-Verse film, um, which I'm really excited for, because the first one was very good, and I've heard very positive things about the second one. Oh, by the way, if you can hear my fan, apologies. In fact, I'm gonna turn it off. I don't, I don't think I need it right now, so apologies if that, that was a bit noisy. Um, but yeah, um, so I'm gonna go see that, but... There's this type of cinema near where I am, uh, which I've not really seen before, um, and it's, it's called the Everyman Cinema. And I don't know if it's like a if, if it's like a brand sort of cinema that's in a lot of places. I have no idea, but essentially, it's a cinema. Um, ooh, sack. There's a sack room here. Let's. We're, we're gonna have to play the sack room. Um, it's a cinema where you. There's like. It's like beanbags and sofas rather than chairs, which is I've seen cinemas do before, but you can like order food and drinks and stuff. Like you can get like service while you're there. Like it, I'll admit it probably is a bit pricey for what it is, but I think it's pretty cool. Be able to like go to cinema and um, and get yourself a like a burger and a dessert and like a cocktail. It's I, I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, it's going to be quite, quite a unique um, cinema experience. And then just before we go there, we're going to go to a speakeasy, which I'm really excited for. We've been there a few times before, but it's really good. There's this speakeasy uh, in, in the town centre of where I live. Um, the, it's uh, the outside, it looks like a laundromat. 
Um, and then when you walk in, it's got like a little payphone. And you uh, you ring up on the pay you, like you pick up the payphone and then someone answers and you give them a code uh, that you get from booking uh, prior and then they open up one of the uh, the washing machines to like a secret staircase and you go upstairs and there's a bar and they do a bunch of really like experimental and like strange cocktails uh, so we'll definitely take this and what we got going on here. Sword of Light. Every three seconds spawn two sword familiars that orbit the player and deal contact damage. The swords will remain for four seconds after spawn. Uh, the swords will stay permanently if Isaac has n no damaged red heart containers or move slower. Oh, I definitely think I want that. We shall take that. Thank you very much. And then we've got to drop this trinket. Um, I think I've got to uh, yeah, drop it there. Wait, no. How do I drop the trinket? I can't do the double tap. Put that there. Yeah, and then we'll go and do a few more plays. We've got a few more plays. This is a very slow first floor, I realise, but it's it's kind of worth. It's kind of worth. Boom, bow. Okay, I kind of like this, and I, I like the fact that we'll stick around if we're on full red hearts as well. It's pretty cool. Right, and then we go boom, gives us a soul heart. Um, of which I'll take. Um, yeah, I'll I'll do this. Get out of there. I, I don't want to kill him because I just don't think I currently can. And then yeah, we'll we'll play this last one here for the chance at money or um. Soul Hearts, which is playing my health a little risky, I realise, but I'm kind of okay with it. We've not even fought the boss yet, but who cares about that? Who cares about that noise? <clears throat> We're having a joyous first floor. But so far we have two Something Wicked items, uh, which I like. I'm really enjoying the Something Wicked item pack at the moment. It's got a lot of good stuff. If you want to download it, it's not available in the workshop uh, publicly, but you can uh, go to my Discord and grab it. We've got the money, unfortunately, but I'm not super, super displeased by the money. It's it's not terrible for us. Good, good. And we'll definitely grab that. And we can go to our shop. Hopefully buy a key for that golden chest as well. I really ought to be firing just to get more spiders gathered up right. right. Um, we've got... Coin flip, plus three coins on pass first pickup. Coin uh, costs one coin and one charge, not on use. On use spawns a spinning coin. Spinning coins now ricochet uh, tears into enemies. Picking up a coin before it expires recharges one notch. Kind of interesting. We've also got this bad boy. Pay one coin to spawn a hungry soul. We had this before and it was really good. Uh, I think I'm going to take it. I like the idea of this thing as well, the, the, the coin flip, but this was better. Uh, I'll also take this. Got a bomb again. No key, sadly. Um, and I guess we'll just go. I guess we'll just go. But yeah, I don't know how often I'm going to actually end up using these daggers here, at least for now. Maybe once they're permanent, we have full red hearts, it'll be more applicable. But I remember this thing being really, really strong uh, before with just a few uh, coin uses and... That has proven to be the case. So as long as we can keep some consistent money, that's going to be useful for us. Um, this is kind of a, a, a tricky one here, because the suppository isn't very good now, but the, be the, the pageant boy could be worse. I'm going to take the pageant boy, because I can swap it out. I could hope... I, I, could, I was going to say, I hopefully get quite a lot of money out of it, and I, I did, so I'm pretty happy. Um, and we shall keep a going. We didn't get a key. We can try and find the other secret room, though. We do have two bombs. I'm not exactly sure where it is. I think... I think it's here. It's not there. Um... I don't actually know where it is. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna use my last bomb trying to figure it out. Anyways, let's get a go into the next floor. Yeah, th this thing also uh, gives us a revive as well, this active, which is kind of weird, but apparently it's a reference to something, so I'll, I'll give it a pass. Curse of Envy. 
I'm not quite sure what the Curse of Envy is going to do for us, but we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, it's a cool angelite in these spinny daggers. Maybe we can build up something melee related. Hey, a key straight off the bat there is rather lovely. What do you do again? Okay, you just spawn more of those guys. That's fine by me. I can take care of that just fine. <clears throat> oh, Sigil of Knowledge is insanely good. Sigil of Knowledge is so busted. Basically, once you've explored a certain percentage of the map, it'll reveal the rest of the map, including red rooms, including secret rooms, and the secret rooms are already open. It's absolutely insane. It's like the best mapping item in the entire game, in my opinion. Oh, what the hell? Rooms are flooded. That's kind of an interesting idea for a, for a trinket, I'll be honest. I want to see what happens when I pick this up. Let me just go back. Okay, so it doesn't visually change, so maybe it happens on the next floor. That's a cool idea, though, because that works well with some items. Pennies. Enemies. And Penny. Not the greatest of curse rooms. Not the greatest, but whatever. Um, it's not great. This being reflected makes it very, very tempting. Um, we don't have keys at the moment, so we'll come back for this, but I like the idea of that. Um, it says there's a key in this room. Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, there's a fucking chest there. <laughs> cheeky little shit. You cheeky little shit. <laughs> I did not see that chest there at all. I'm going to try and get my devil deal first. I don't even want to take a devil deal at this point, but I should try and take it first. I'm not trying to spawn more spiders. Any room that looks like really bothersome, we can spam our active a little bit, which is nice. Trying to use my daggers where I can. I'm not trying to over overdo it with the daggers because I realise I could get myself into some level of trouble if I do that. But once we get them p permanently spinning around us, they'll be a bit more useful. Right now, we've just kind of got to wait. Like a room like this is good to just use two coins to basically kill the whole room for us. <laughs> got some enemies in here. We got one ghost going. Lovely. Got our keys going. Some extra bombs there. Snake oil. Ooh, deep pockets is probably pretty good. I know I'll end up swapping some of these things out later, but it's half price. Why not? And here we've just got a justice card, which I just actually don't mind. Rotten heart. I don't think I'm going to go for right now. Sadly, we don't have a soul heart available. Let's just keep her going. Oh my god. But yeah, Deep Pockets is really good with this active. Because we can consistently, or at least hopefully consistently... Ah, oh, you bastard. What a way to lose it. I kind of forgot these guys fire at you. So I just misplayed the hell out of that. I was more focused on the uh, trying to put out the fire than I was on actually killing that enemy. Because, like I said, I completely forgot that they shoot at you. Ah, whatever. But yeah, Deep Pockets will consistently give us money, which will allow us to uh, use our active more, which I really like the idea of. Cheeky bugger. I like the way the spiders get yeeted over walls and stuff so they can access enemies easier. Good. And then we'll just use like five coins here. Do some good damage. Of course, the, the ghosts don't last for the entire fight, but they should last for a decent portion of it. There you go. They actually lasted for the whole fight with this guy. Awesome. Five coins to kill a boss is pretty good. Um, Probably the tears up. Range up. Take that. Right. <clears throat> also, my guy is looking pretty awesome right now. Gonna go back this way. And, um... I've, I'm not quite sure what to do, to be honest. 
there's some plays I want to make. Now that I have more bombs, it's a little more wide open. I am going to have to spend some keys to do this, though. Because I want to keep the trinket I've got now, but I want to make some plays. So, first things first, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to spend a little bit of money on this bad boy. Just hoping for a soul heart. This is bad. This is not what I wanted at all. Okay, that's fine. I'll actually get it away from the machines. Ooh, oh no, Hangman doesn't help here, unfortunately. I'm going to go down to like 15 cent here. Really hoping for at least one soul heart. Sadly, not. Okay, back down to 15 again. Ah, it blew up. That's really not what I wanted to happen. Okay, now come in here and grab this. This heart won't leave me the fuck alone. It's annoying the hell out of me. Okay, I'm just going to have to quickly do this to get this heart, because otherwise it's going to piss me the hell off. Uh, I want to come, come in here real, real quick, grab this, get a golden version of this, and, oh, wait, this is the store credit. This isn't, nah. My bad, I shouldn't have taken that, it was a waste of a key. So now if I bomb these bad boys, I suppose I could play this out, but it's potentially a lot of money. Uh, let's play this once more first. Okay, I will play this out a little bit now. Um, I guess I could take that. Nice. Definitely take that. Do you know what? I'm going to play into this as well. Damn it. Okay, now I got to bomb these two. Really? With this trinket? Machines have a chance to not be, um, like, to respawn when they get bombed. Neither of them did. <laughs> that was very unlucky. I was ho Basically, I was hoping to bomb the ever-living shit out of those. Um, I was hoping to bomb the ever-living shit out of those so I could get a bunch of extra stuff off of them. But it didn't really play out the way I was hoping, did it? And I ended up wasting a key on that star credit, which was very stupid. My bad. And now we have no money to use our active, but we have deep pockets, so the money should return to us. Shouldn't be a problem. We no longer need tears up now we've got Eve Mascara, which is real nice. We can just get rid of all of our tears up forever. Um, solve that problem. Anyways. Let's keep it moving and grooving. Let's keep it going. Yeah, if we can get any multi-shot East Mascara, it gets even better. Hey, we got the soul heart we've been looking for. Very happy with that. I guess I'll do this for the blowing up mushrooms opportunity. Didn't end up doing much for us. I, I could have just hanged manned, I realise. But I, I was like, eh, pull up some mushrooms. It could be good for us. But yeah, basically with this mascara thing here, whenever we hit an enemy, it reduces our tier delay for our next tier. It's real busted. Or, or it can be. It's not always really busted, but it can be. I'm trying to use my daggers where I can. I don't want to... Get into a situation where I'm playing it too unsafely, but I do want to go for it where I can. Check this out. Oh, we got a golden... Oh, do you know what? What was I just saying? So now, I uh, let's get rid of Pageant Boy. This is insane. We do have a golden button here. Yeah, look at this. Because every single tier that hits reduces the tier delay of the next tier. Which means that, yeah, it, it just... It's definitely not balanced correctly around multi-shot, but I think that's fine. Okay, the golden button has run out. Unfortunately, we didn't really get much from it, but I had to try it. Okay, things are looking good for this run. We can get rid of Lemonhead whenever we want at this point. Because we do, we just do not need fire rate in any sense of the word anymore. 
Because if we're hitting an enemy, we are firing fast. Simple as. It's pretty beautiful, actually. Uh, so let, let's have a look. So the, the Eve's Nail Polish, not Mascara, sorry. The Eve's Nail Polish, the uh, Sigil of Knowledge, the uh, Triple Eye are all ones that I'm definitely keeping. The rest are all up for content, like they're... They're sort of up for debate. I really like the daggers. I'll probably keep those for a good while. The spider eggs are nice, but not amazing. Um, mystery egg is, of course, terrible. Uh, deep pockets is pretty good. It's not It's not the best of the best. It's definitely something we could get rid of. Good. Extra keys are always nice. Tried getting him to blow up more mushrooms there, but it didn't really work out. Nice. So many pills about. I'm really not interested in taking pills right now, though. Ooh. One bomb for infinite bombs for the floor. Sounds really good to me. The game really does want me to play this slow, doesn't it? It's giving me every, like, every floor is like, here's a reason to play this extremely slowly. I am, I am on the verge of wanting to take pills, I'll be honest, because the game is really just throwing it at me. Okay, this is a duplicate. Let's take this one. Puberty. I've already started now. I might as well continue. I got to speed down. Congratulations to me. That's another speed down. How dare you? bollocks. Not a nice room. Although these enemies are not doing what they normally do. Normally they ch chase after you. This guy's just like fucking off wherever the hell. Do my daggers block shots or was that my wisp that was blocking shots? Okay, I think it was my wisp. I was a bit confused there. I was a wee bit confused. Good. Damage up there is lovely to see. Ooh, the mark. Okay, this is traded out for Mystery Egg. Really, really happy with that. And then more damage up is even lovelier. That's a flat damage up as well. Didn't think Secret Room was on either of those, but I had to check. I mean, we've actually already seen Secret Room, so I'm a bit of a dullard there, aren't I? My bad. We already know where Secret Room is. Hey, there's a look upgrade, finally. Something nice. That was a fucking good hit, my guy. Holy shit. You see that? Oh, thank thank you for, for, for giving me that back, because I was a bit annoyed about that hit, I'll be honest. Not a crawl space, sadly. We don't still have the trinkets, so we can't infinitely blow up the dresser. I could blow it up for pills, I guess, but... Eh. Eh. Not that bothered. And judgment. I guess we can pop down a judgment. Nah, not the one I was hoping for. And then we'll pop a few activations of our active here, and this will be like the easiest boss fight ever. Wow, didn't even need to use my active there, really. Um, so this is a heart container, so I will take that over Lemonhead, I think. We do have a devil deal, finally. I don't remember how much HP I've got, but I'll check this out anyways. Ooh, okay, I will definitely take the pinhead. This is going to be scary in terms of HP, but I will take it, and I'll take it for the Whirling Leech that I just grabbed. Because I still get to keep the HP. Um, and we keep on going down. Okay. Yeah. Now we've got piercing, which is even more insane with triple shot and the the crazy fire rate. And we still actually got a pretty good amount of HP here. Whoa. The reflections of the daggers are really weird. Oh, God. That's tripping me the hell out. That is. What the fuck? That's so confusing. Did I go to the shop on the last floor? If I didn't, I meant to. My bad.
my bad. I have quite a lot of money to work with here, so really ought to be. Hey, another luck upgrade. Awesome. What are you doing, little splodger? You little cute fella. Oh, money's coming fast and loose. This active plus deep pockets is a good combination. I like it. And the luck upgrade's giving us more drops as well. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Um... No, I've never really had any of those rooms pay out with anything, to be honest. I know that this will reveal, the secret will get revealed later anyways, but stop me from backtracking. Really? What a waste. <laughs> Turn at least one of those a blurmo. God, the shadows, the, the, the shadows, sorry, the reflections are really wigging me out. It's so strange. Oh god. Nice, and then we get nine lives or singed flame. Okay, nine lives is definitely a bit risky. Uh, the singed flames... I don't think I want either of those, I'll be honest. I don't think I want either of those. I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with the, the setup I've got going on right now. The only thing right now that I'm sort of looking to trade is the, uh, the, the egg sack item. And that's only if the item that I'm trading it for is like a good bit better. Because the spiders are actually pretty good. And they're coming in pretty consistently. So it's not something I will trade lightly. So far, things are going very well. Our money situation is crazy. Our money's just so good all the time. Ah, bollocks. That was such a bad hit. Try not to lose this devil chance. It's only low, but i would rather not lose it if I can help it. Come on, boy. Shit out, you kid. Thank you. We did get... Oh, we got some good stuff here. We got some good stuff. So we've got the bees, which is real good. Um, I think the bees is more consistently good than this. So I'm going to take that. And then at this point in deep pockets, would I rather have the toy drum or the cyst? I think I'd rather have the cyst, right? Wait, what? Oh, there's a button. I see. I can see clearly now. Oh, the axe is so good. Okay, so I think this is the point where we trade our daggers for this axe, because this axe has a bit of range to it. I've really liked those daggers, though. They're, they're a really fun item. Sad to see you go, but this, this axe is potentially really good, and it just has more range to it, which is going to be useful for us. Rocks and poop into pennies, and devil, I'll take that. Go. Beautiful. Okay, so this we can just take, because this is an on pickup thing. We can take that back. Just got to check to, for my own satisfaction. Did they make sure to make it not be able to happen more than once? Good. <laughs> Otherwise, that could have been really broken. But anyways, that's good stuff. Just free stats for us. It's not Stats that aren't attached to an item. Is this character, like, super fucking good? If you manage to get, get your grubby hands on any stats that aren't attached to an item, that's going to be good shit. Oh, what the fuck? Ha how... Balls that room right up? How the fuck was I meant to know what was going on there? I guess just don't hit the guy in the middle. Also, my bees aren't doing very good. Oh, no, I buggered up... I buggered up my bee item, I'm sorry. So, that, that bee item that I took, um, the last one in my list, 
gives you three bees per room only if you don't make any purchases. And I did it the wrong way around. I, I, I got this and then I purchased something. Oh god, that was stupid. My bad. We've got one item that's doing nothing for us currently. That doesn't really help. I know that I just said we've got an item that's doing nothing for us, but still. I feel like Pac-Man, fuck. Anyways, good money. So we've got a bit of a dud item going on right now. My bad. Depth's one, right? Yeah. Oh, as if I got hit there. I did it again! <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting hit so much against this guy. Oh my god, so much. There's creep on the floor there as well, apparently. Didn't see that. Okay, so now instead of this, we can take the, uh, the eye here. Damage up. Health isn't looking too hot here. I I got hit a lot against that guy. <laughs> like a way, way too much. Ghosty boy, ghosty boy. Ooh, there's a token here. Uh, do we have a good use for the token? I don't think we have anything on the floor right now that's going to be good for it. I'd take any HP, really. Oh, do you know, there's so many enemies that I just still don't really remember how they work. Like, I completely forgot that that guy could shoot. Black Hole or Minx, neither really float my gut. Come on, I really need some HP game. I mean, this is potentially some good HP. I mean, at least get a burn heart out of it so far. Double burn hearts. Got a black heart so far. Okay, a black heart. I'm happy enough. Probably should have held off and used the token on the black heart, but oh well. It's fine. Uh, I think we can leave, to be honest. We'll go to that secret room in the cash room and then we'll go. I mean, slow playing the floors quite a bit. I can't not blow them both at the same time. Missing poster. You do say missing poster. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I think I just realized something. With Cyst, only one of the shots from Triple Shot has ten times damage. Do you see that, watch? Like one of them is large and the other two aren't. That's kind of bullshit. Not how that should work. Anyways. We continue onwards. We fight the good fight. So the cyst, cyst is an item that I could probably get rid of comfortably because it's not really doing too much for us. Our damage is awesome. Like when it hits, it's good, but apparently not hitting as often as I would have liked. Keep moving through. Oh, hello. I like this. Even if I can't fill it with charges, it'll still give us a black heart. Chest. Our luck's been pretty good so far. Let me use just like slightly smaller tiers, right? Okay, nice. Finally some red health. That's been eluding us for a little while now. 
It's not been a lot of red health about. Uh, slip by this guy. Kill his soul real quick. You don't mind if I just quickly kill your soul, do you? You don't mind. Oh, dude, come on. Die, thank you. Trinket drops in this room. Honestly, can't imagine getting many trinkets that would beat out this one. This one is such a good trinket. So, the D6 is pretty awesome here. So, I think... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just had an interesting idea. So, we want to go and take the D6... Oh, you fucking bastard of a shithead fool. I did not want to take that. Oh, oh game. Why are you like this? Anyhow... So now, we can go grab that, and then, so that, that kind of works out not really the exact way I was hoping it would. Um, I'll be honest, I was really hoping to grab the D6 there. My foolish, foolish, foolish brain made it not really work the way I wanted it to. Oh, wait, what? This is the mum fight, whoops. I meant to go to the shop first. Oh, well. What's happened has happened. My bad. You need to keep your foot there for way longer, my love. Aha! I'm immune to your bullshit. Yeah, good. We'll take the Polaroid. Quickly check in here as well. False PhD has some has some merit to it, because that's damage that can't be taken away from us via items. I don't know what to trade it for is the only problem. I'm pretty happy with what I've got going on now, so I'm going to just leave, I think. Gimme, gimme. So I skipped a bit of this floor. My bad. My bad. Okay. Now it's make or break, people. These little nubbins. Always have them left behind. Oops. But yeah, I think duplicating the um, the mark there, pretty smart. Let's get a duplicate of our strongest damage upgrade. Potentially, it might have been a better idea to upgrade triple shot, uh, to, to like duplicate triple shot, but I thought we'd be better off with just the more damage, but I don't know. It also helps us with speed as well, which is nice. But yeah, potentially could have been better doing um doing the triple shot. But I, I, basically my main worry with that was it would fuck up our fire rate. But then again, I don't need fire rate, so maybe I've been an idiot. Maybe I've been a fool. But to be fair, I will say, the whole business with the D6 missing it, it kind of threw me off and I, was, I wasn't thinking correctly about it after that point, so that's my bad. Oh, Penny. Cash room is free. We should check that out. A black heart in here as well. And there's a soul heart there too. Oh my god. And there's an item in here. Permanently uh, unidentifies pills. Pills are converted into horse pills. Naturally spawned horse pills are converted into whale pills. Sounds like fun. It sounds scary, but it sounds like fun. Sigil, I am going to get rid of you because I like the sound of this. I know Sigil's amazing, but I want whale pills. That sounds fun. I don't think we'll end up getting a whale pill, but I'd love to see one. Take you out. Nubbins again. Ow. Health is actually not too bad. I, I, I'm kind of worrying about it constantly, but really our health is looking pretty good right now. Boss should be very near. Also makes that character look really cool. Got the Viking helmet. 
plus the uh, the mask going on now. It's pretty intriguing. That's all I gotta say, it's pretty intriguing. I do have to pause the video in just a second, take a call real quick. But we'll hopefully kill Mum before that, if I can hustle my bustle a little bit. But it's not even about me going fast, it's about finding the goddamn thing. There it is. Good, good. We got to it in the end. I am going to spam my spacebar a little bit and do some of this. Oh, this is... I thought this was the mum fight for, for some reason. Oh, that was bad spikage there. Oh, my God. Bad dodge dodgeage, too. Um, I will take this because it's a HP up. And then I'll do that. We'll go to the next floor. And yeah, I'll quickly just pause the video for a second. And I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. We are good to go. What's going on? I, it's been a while. I, I've been gone for like half an hour. But it's all good. We're here. Um, we're just on Womb 2. The Wombeth 2 Utero. And I, I think we've got a reasonable build here. Like, it's... It's always it's always a weird thing with with tainted eyes. Like obviously, eight items with plus one active is never really an insane amount to create a powerful build. But this is it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, we're just going for a basic victory against Isaac as well. So it's like not too much can go super wrong here. I don't think. We just gotta make sure not to get hit too much. Pentacles. I'll definitely buy the soul soul heart. But monstrous tooth and pentacles. Sadly not. Unfortunately, the resprite I have a Monstro's Tooth no longer looks like Monstro's Chicken, which is quite sad. <laughs> if you guys seen that fucking Reddit post that got made into an actual mod, where someone was like, I always thought Monstro's Tooth was a chicken, and it like highlights why, and oh my god, it looks so fucking funny. Monstro's Chicken. Oh god. No, my ghosties, they're wasted. What a, what a waste of time with my ghosties. I'm going to spawn a few more. It's okay, they did a good job. Very nice. Basement key has been unlocked. Devil deal, what do you hold for me? Um, Grim Buddy's certainly tempting. Honestly, there's a lot of stuff here that's pretty good. But I'm going to refrain. I'm just going to go up. We ain't, we ain't in time for Hush here. I mean, we took our sweet time this run, to be fair. We really did take our sweet time. We shall push forward. And hope we can have a nice little Isaac victory. Oh, God. I'm just going to bomb my way out of this room. I can be arsed with the ghosts. Ooh, hello. Ah, damn it. I thought that was the one that gave me the stat boost. Because my uh, trinket now is not actually that useful to me anymore. I was like, maybe. Maybe go for the ghosties. Are you meant to be able to kill these guys? No. I just killed that one with uh, with our um, sewing needle there. Don't think that's meant to happen. I'm hoping we can get some red heart drops at this point, because we've still got two burn hearts we've yet to fill. Oh my god, look at that fire rate. God damn. I'm still kind of annoyed at myself for not thinking about duplicating the inner eye. Really, really should have done that. That would have been a great idea. And I whiffed it for a stat increase. I was just thinking about damage, but if I thought about it a little bit harder, I would have realized that that would have netted me even more damage. My mind. She's small. She oh so small. Right, let's hope we can actually rush through this floor here. Still, this music. This music. It slaps so hard. Oh, whoa. Again, not knowing how the enemies work. My bad. There's a champion boy. Don't much fancy a dinner with you. Thank you very much. Ah, okay, we got this guy. At least this guy's not as hard as the other one. The the devil, like the, the shul one, I find way more difficult. This guy can be annoying with his invincibility. And when he throws a little light sauce at you, like that, that seems to hit me a lot, but pretty well there. We only got a soul heart, no angel item. But honestly, 
maybe we're better off with the actual uh, Soul Heart there, because we have pretty good items right now. There's not many things I want to trade. I, I might want to trade for a book here, though, depending on what we get given. Um... Well, Book of Virtues is like a just, yes, please, why not? Oh, wait. Weird. I didn't... Book of Virtues actually classes as a passive. I didn't think it would. Um... Oh my god, we just got a bunch of speed upgrades. Holy hell. I'm not sure what the book I have right now is doing. I think it just used a random card. What the fuck? What the hell? Ipecac? Yes, please, I think. Okay. I'm gonna go do all of these. Now, does my nail polish work with this? Is the question. I think it does. Oh, really? Stop it with all the enemies, please. God, I'm hitting myself a lot right now. Um, no, I think I'm okay. That didn't kill you? Why not? Oh, God. There's lasers. Single boss, reveal yourself. Okay. Get away with that sauce that you're spreading. It does indeed increase my fire rate by quite a bit. It's not quite as insane as it would be otherwise, but it still increases it by quite a bit. I think the closer I stand, the faster I'll fire, but I don't really want to stand close for hopefully understandable reasons. Hey, we unlocked a Rubik's Cube. This is the Rubik's Cube that I was talking about the other day. Okay, so I would like Mysterious Liquid, please. Um, I think I can get rid of the damage up, to be honest. Um, I think we're good otherwise. Nice. Didn't know she was still alive. Right, how quick of a floor is this going to end up being, do you think? Depends. If I die, then maybe quite quick, because I'm taking some bad damage at the moment. Ooh, I didn't see there'd be an item there. Didn't expect it. Unfortunately... Not an item I want. Hey, it's red health. Didn't think that existed. It's been so rare. Nice. Ah, it's like, ha, we're going to throw a pin at you now. It's like, oh no, pin. <laughs> Whatever am I going to do? I can't believe you'd stick pin on me. Oh, dude, this is the boss already. What the fuck? That was crazy fast. Empress, why not? Mainly for the speed, to be honest. Fighting Baby's helping me out, actually.
Beautiful. Yeah, the closer I stand, the, the faster I fire. I'm using Farting Baby that I just received from Monster Manuel to give myself absolutely insane defense. It's actually so good how good uh, Farting Baby was there. Either way, nice little win. Nice little spicy win. Hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.